we're working with probability specifically we're working with binomial probability and uh, what we're looking for here is a probability that a specific event occurs so this one a fair die is rolled fair die just basically means it's not weighted at all and if it doesn't indicate then we're assuming that this one is a six-sided die but this fair die is rolled ten times we're trying to find the probability that exactly two rolls two of those are sixes so it's going to roll a six exactly two times not more than two not less than two but exactly two okay so we're trying to find this and the way that we'll use this we'll use our binomial uh, probability formula and then here is our binomial probability formula it's got some as you can see it's got a combination here p and r q and n and r so we know what our n and r uh, what those two different ones are. Now the n obviously is the total number that we have. In this case it's going to be 10. The r are going to be the successes that we have and that would be, oh, excuse me, how many times we're going to choose it which would be, in this case it'll be two. We're going to have two rolls that are sixes. p in this case, um, and when we're dealing with anything with the binomial formula, p is our successes. What's the probability of our success? And then q is the um, probability of failure. Okay, so let's kind of go through one here. We've got to kind of fill out, fill out some information here. P and Q, let's identify those first off. So P is if we actually roll a 6, that would be considered a success. And Q would be if we don't get a 6, that would be considered a failure. Now, we remember that we're wanting exactly two of these 6s. And um, so we need to figure out what the probability of actually, actually rolling a 6 on a 6-sided die is. As well as we need to identify what our N and our R R. Now we've got uh, R is the number of successes that we're going to have. In this case, it'll be two. Two successes. And the N would be our total number of rolls. We're going to roll it 10 times. So 10 rolls, two successes. And now what we're going to do is take this formula and start filling out the information that we know. Probability of R successes in N trials. Let's kind of fill out, figure out what we want. We want to have a probability of getting exactly two sixes. So getting six, but we're going to find it exactly two times. So first we're going to pull in our combinations formula here. And our combinations formula is right here, n factorial over r factorial, n minus r factorial. But we know what our n's are. Our n's are 10, so we're going to fill those in now. n is just 10. And we know what our r is. r is 2. So I'm going to fill it in for both of these two r's. Okay, now we're going to have to determine what our probability is p, the probability of getting a 6. Um, if you roll a die, that's 1 sixth. So we're going to multiply that by the probability, which is 1 sixth. Raise to a certain power. We'll get to that in just a moment. But first, let's find our probability of failure. If you, The probability of not getting a 6 is basically 5 sixths. And we can identify that by going 1 minus whatever this probability is. 1 minus 1 6 which is give us 5 6. So we've got 5 6 here. Now we can start filling out some more information here. R, we've already determined that R is 2, so I'm going to fill that in right here. That means that we're going to have exactly two of these successes, exactly two rolls or sixes. The other one is going to be n minus R. So n is 10 and R is 2. We'll fill those in. n minus, uh, excuse me, 10 minus 2 would give us 8. Okay, and this 8 comes directly from we have 10 total rolls that we're going to be. Two are going to be successes, eight are going to be failures. Now all we're going to do is plug this into our calculator. And you can just plug it in exactly as you see it here. I'm going to show you a little bit of a shortcut just using combinations. We know that this is a 10 choose 2. So I'm going to do that. And we'll do it on both calculators, but first we'll do, we'll do it on TI-84 and the TI Inspire. We'll bring in the TI Inspire first. Okay, on the TI Inspire, we can go to Menu, Probability, Combinations. Um, you can also just type in, we'll show you one other way to do it as well. You can just type in N, C. And notice how these are italicized. As soon as I hit this R, it'll know what I'm trying to do, and so it automatically goes into like a normal font. And we're going to do 10, choose 2, so 10, 2 is how we'll type that one in. Then we need to determine the probability of success. Success is 1 sixth squared. There are two of them, so 1 sixth. So I just type that in pretty much like you see it here. Uh, 1 sixth, we'll move it over, we're going to square that one times 5 sixth, 5 divided by 6, by, 5 divided by 6. This one's going to be raised to the 8th power. 
And then you just simply hit enter here, and this one asks us to round it to the nearest five decimals. So we're going to do that. One, two, three, four, five. 29, 0.29071 should be our answer here. 0 0.29070 is what I've got here. So let's pull back here and make sure. No, 071 is what it should be. So let's change that. There we go. So that should be the correct rounding there. Now let's bring in our TI84. Uh, TI We're going to type that in. Pretty much like you see here, I'm going to show you the shortcut there as well. This is going to be a 10. We go to math. Over here on probability is what we're looking for. So that means we're going to go over. It'll be the fourth option, probability. Now right here, the third one is our um, combinations. So we're going to see. We're going to select option number three. Go down here. There we go. We just hit enter. Ten choose, and then we'll just type in two. From here, we're going to type in the rest of it just exactly like we see it here. This is one sixth squared. Okay, times five sixths raised to the eighth power. We just hit enter, and here it gives our formula. Or here it gives our answer right here. Remember, we've got to round it to nearest five decimals. 29071, which is what we've got here. Okay, and that's pretty much it. It's just making sure that you can plug in P and Q are going to be the big ones. We need the probability of our successes, and Q is the probability of our failure. And um, we just basically type it into the calculator, and it will spit out the answer for us.